Good morning students. Today we will be doing synonyms and antonyms in grammar. Now this topic is quite easy because it's just similar words and opposite words. Synonyms means similar words and antonyms means opposite words. Okay. So synonyms are basically words that are exactly the same in meaning or similar in meaning. Not necessarily it has to be exactly the same. Even if the meaning is something similar, it is a synonym of a word. Okay. So let's read. A synonym is a word or phrase that means exactly or nearly the same as another word or phrase in the same language. Example, type. Now, Another word for type could be a brand, could be category, could be kind. Okay, this type of behavior, this kind of behavior. Instead of type, you can say kind also. Clear? Okay. Next one, C. So, you have the words which are similar to it is look, notice, observe, watch. The next word, sad, mournful, sorrowful, gloomy, cheerless, unhappy. Next, astonish. Amaze, surprise, astound, startle. All these mean astonish. Great, considerable, huge, immense, vast, extensive. Beautiful, attractive, pretty, lovely, stunning. All these mean the same. That it is something really beautiful or extraordinary, good looking. Fair, just, objective, impartial, unbiased means not taking any one particular person's side. You are fair in your ruling, fair in your judgment. Okay. Next one, funny, humorous, comical, hilarious, hysterical. Now, all these mean funny. Maybe the level of um, uh, being funny or comedy is a different. Like if you see humorous is something funny, comical is something funny, hilarious means it's really even really really very funny and hysterical means to such a level it's a comedy or a funny thing that it's almost like you you cry with uh, happiness or with uh, the laughter yes yeah? sometimes you roar okay asu nikalte that's what you call as hysterical okay so the level of being funny is more in hysterical and maybe even hilarious is a little less but humorous comical both are just the regular funny things okay next happy means content joyful mirthful upbeat hard working means diligent determined industrious enterprising honest means honorable fair trustworthy sincere important means it's required it's needed it's it's important for something so it's required you cannot stay without it okay vital means very very important but it's basically important Essential also means is very important. Primary means also important. Significant and critical also important. Intelligence, smart, bright, brilliant, sharp, rich, affluent, wealthy, well-off, well-to-do. All these means rich, strong, stable, secure, solid, tough. True, genuine, factual accurate correct real means true also means it is a genuine it's not false factual means it states the facts accurate means it's exactly as it should be there are not there is no change in it or nothing different in it yes it's not even a little bit different correct means correct and real means it is not false unhappy sad depressed melancholy miserable Weak, frail, infirm, puny and fragile. Fragile also means very weak, very delicate. Okay. Puny generally means very tiny and skinny sort of infirm means not strong at all. Frail also means very, very um, weak. Okay. Going to the next page. Now we come to antonyms. Now what are antonyms are just words. Like how we learnt now words with similar meanings. Here you have words with opposite meanings. Okay. An antonym is a word that expresses the exact opposite meaning of another word. Many nouns, pronouns, adverbs, sorry, verbs, adjectives, adverbs and prepositions have words that are opposite in meaning. 
Some antonyms are completely new words, while some can be formed only by adding or changing suffixes and prefixes. So there are different ways how you can form the opposite of a word. Some the word changes totally. Some you just add a few words or you delete a few words. Maybe you add a few words before the word or maybe you add the few words after the word and the word changes to the opposite in meaning of the given word. Okay. Now let's see the examples of direct opposite without prefix. That means words which are totally different. Now here what I've given you or the examples are only a few. There are many more words and in the exam any word can come. You should know the opposite of the word because you, it can even come in comprehension. Like you know your passage comes. They can ask you anything. What is the opposite of a particular word? You should know it. So don't just learn only what I given by heart. Try to get to know even more words and their opposites. First entrance. Exit. Exit is the place from where you are supposed to go out. Entrance is the place from where you are supposed to enter. Arrive. Depart. Depart means leave. Public. Private. Always. Never. Begin. Finish. Win. Lose. United. Divided. Above. Below. Now opposites which you can form just by adding a prefix. Now there are different prefixes. So we will learn each prefix and a few examples. Beginning with in. So justice you just add in in front that is a prefix and it becomes injustice which is the opposite of justice. Okay. So complete incomplete. Oh there is a mistake. There should be no space. Okay. Incomplete is one word. There should be no space over here. Incomplete is one word. I am repeating it again. When you are writing don't leave space. In between in the word in and complete. I have written it separately. Write it as one. Next one begin with, beginning with im. Possible, impossible, moral, immoral. Beginning with you and un. Just, unjust, solved, unsolved. Beginning with this, agree, disagree, honest, dishonest. Beginning with mal, function, malfunction, nourished, malnourished. Beginning with non, violence, non-violence, vegetarian, non-vegetarian. Beginning with ab, normal, abnormal. Beginning with miss, lead, mislead, use, misuse. Beginning with IR, ir, regular, irregular, relevant, irrelevant. Beginning with ill, logical, illogical, means doesn't make any sense. Okay, there's no logic in that. Legible, illegible means what you're writing. It's legible is connected to your writing. So legible is something that is neat and tidy which can be read very easily. Illegible means when your writing is horrible. And it cannot be understood. Okay. What you have written. That's called illegible. Beginning with a. Typical. Atypical. Beginning with anti. Social. Antisocial. Clockwise. Anticlockwise. Okay. Now we go to the next page. Now changing. When the prefix is already there in the original word. And you only change the prefix. You are not adding a prefix. Okay. And in the previous example there was no prefix. There was a word and no prefix. You added a prefix. Here there is a word with a prefix already. You are just changing the prefix. Now first changing the prefix in to x. Inhale exhale. Internal external. Changing the prefix in to out. Inside outside. Indoor, outdoor. Changing the prefix full to less. Harmful, harmless. Careful, careless. Okay. So now you've learned the three ways how you can change your word, the given word, to make the new word into the opposite of it. Now your exercise, I will read it. Complete the table by choosing the correct synonym and antonym from the box. 
So here you have to write the synonym as well as the antonym. Okay. And you will choose from the words given up. So in the box, I'll read the words in the box. Agree, close, elderly, far, few, final, great, independence, first, joyful, many, rapid, reject, slow, sorry, sad, slow, tiny, power, slavery, weakness, young. The words that are given near, several, vast, happy, old, accept, strength, freedom, swift and last. Now we go to the next page. I'm just waiting for you. Okay, now we go to the next page. Write the opposites. Ancient, you will write what is ancient, opposite of ancient, modern, yes? Okay. So that way, that's the way you will write all of it. And if you have any doubt, please do message me. Like, okay, teacher, what is the answer to the opposite of closest? Supposing you're not sure, then I will tell you. Clear? Don't ask everything. See that you try the rest by yourself. If you have a doubt or if you don't know, only then. So I'll read the words. Ancient, closest, remote, asleep, truth, wise, simple. Dim, public, ample, accept, white, raw, profit. Okay, now the third question. Write the opposite of the following words by adding or changing suitable prefixes or suffixes. Okay, your first word. So what do you have to do basically changing the beginning or adding something at the end? Okay. Everything, moral, everything becomes nothing. So I'm just giving you the first answer. Everything becomes nothing. So you remove every and you will add no. So it becomes nothing. Moral, familiar, believe, mortal. Mortal means something that dies, that doesn't remain forever. Okay, if you are... Something that doesn't die and remain forever, you have the opposite of mortal. Attractive, significant, pleasure, expected, personal, necessary, regular, gratitude, grateful, do, interested, fortunately, colorful, popular, including similar thoughtful friendly appeared and the last one is definite okay moving on to the last exercise rewrite the sentences the opposites of the underlined words without changing the meaning of the given sentence okay rewrite with the opposite okay with is missing rewrite the sentences with the opposite of the underlying words okay rewrite the sentences with add with over there first one now in this there's a little trick look at the word that's underlined okay and think what is the opposite first example i'll tell you the first example is right what is the opposite of right wrong correct so you will Remember the word wrong. When you're doing it, remember the word wrong. So you know that you have to use the word wrong in the sentence. So your father is right. So you cannot say your father is wrong. Then you're changing the meaning. You're writing the word, correct word. Opposite of right is wrong. You're writing the correct word. But then you have changed the meaning. So you will get your answer also wrong if you don't if you make changes in the meaning of the sentence. So, how will you write your father is not wrong, right? So, if you say not wrong means he is right. So, when you're writing the opposite in your answer, see that, like as I just said, not wrong. Yes? What is the meaning of right? Not wrong. So, you should see that over there. Clear in your answer. 
there is not a cloud in the sky so what is the mean opposite of cloud you will see that and see not a cloud means you have to see that the you do not change the meaning i have no home what is the opposite of home there is nothing a woman cannot do opposite of nothing you have to think of that next one i will stay with you if what is opposite of stay if someone is not staying they are whatever okay the happy prince does not look bright so if you are not looking bright you are looking in india the tradition of kite flying has not changed so think what is the opposite of changed chancy was not strong opposite of strong don't be silly opposite of silly and the last one the statement was nonsense so i keep in this page for you so that you can write think of what is the opposite of nonsense nonsense means something that does not make any sense okay so think of it okay so you can copy this and please do your homework and i'm not going to send anything this thursday because there is quite a bit of homework and this lesson is quite long to write so i'm not going to send anything this thursday clear yeah, no i will not be sending an essay or anything this thursday okay thank you do have a good day and please do homework do your homework and write this in your grammar notebook